What is going on guys? It's Brian here. We're back to another video. This video is an unboxing of a package that a company has actually sent me. Baby, I, want you to know. I got in contact with them because I wanted to test out some of their microphones just to see what they would sound like on the budget side of microphones. And they actually sent me one of their products. Well, they sent me the money to buy their product and I bought it. They shipped to me. And here it is. This right here is, I don't know. It says fee, fi uh, fee, fee, fine, fee, fine, fine, fine. I don't know how it's pronounced. I've heard a few people pronounce it different ways. But it's got some tape on the back here, so I'm just going to go ahead and. So now let's see what you get right whenever you open the box. So try not to drop anything. You get this little card that says, Thank you for choosing fee, fine. In order to upgrade our service, please spend a few minutes watching our videos of guidance and all that other thank you stuff. And you get the K668, which is actually the model that I ordered. You get the manual for it, the user guide. So that's useful if you need it. Under this little piece of styrofoam right here is the actual microphone. And here's this. This is a $20 little desktop microphone that comes with like a little tripod stand and stuff. Whoa. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was actually. In the pictures, it looks kind of small. But in person, it's bigger. Take the little plastic off of it. Go ahead and... It comes with some pretty good stuff, such as a windscreen, its own little own tripod, pretty similar to the Blue Snowball, the Blue Snowball tripod, which is actually the microphone that I use in most of my videos right here. Now, the reason I got this was because I am wanting to compare them. I wanted to compare this $20 microphone to this $50 microphone to actually this other $30 XLR microphone that I have, the Toner BM700. So it is the... K668 versus the Blue Snowball Ice and the Toner BM700. So this is going to be my comparison. And now that I have all three microphones, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of an overview on this one because this one's kind of, it's a new one. So this right here is a little mount for it. And you can mount it to things such as this, oops, this mic stand that I have here, which is what the snowball is going to go on. Uh, you can mount it to the little tripod that it came with. The screws in there, or you can do it to one of these with the correct 5 8 inch to 3 8 inch adapter. This one actually, it, does it come with one? This does not come with one, so I guess that makes sense why they would provide their own stand with it and everything. But the cable is, it's there, like it's a static cable, you can't really unplug it. You could probably, you can use a USB extender if you want to to get the extra length on it if you have if you're going a pretty far distance with it I assume though as it says desktop microphone you're probably going to be using it on your desktop however this stand doesn't seem it's got these little rubber feet on the bottom of it but it doesn't seem too shock absorbent as it's metal and the thread is plastic so we'll have to see how that goes I might actually put a different microphone on this stand I'm gonna figure this out I'm gonna figure that out Let's um, try to see how I'm going to do this. Let's do it like this. I'm going to put this microphone on its stand that comes with it. And it's a plug and play U It's a plug and play USB microphone. Plug it in. Starts working. Basically how that goes. The cord is not that bad of a distance. I thought it would be shorter. It's not that bad. Pretty decent length. You could probably, you can get pretty far with this microphone if you really need it to go. Good distance. It is a, let me make sure I'm getting all this right. It's frequency response. It's 50 hertz to 16 kilohertz. Okay, it works on Mac and Windows. I can't seem to find the polar pattern. I'm pretty sure it's cardioid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is cardioid. I just, I can't see an actual frequency diagram, like a little diaphragm of frequency or... Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's cardioid. It seems like it would be. It seems because as it, as it points like this, I assume this here is cardioid polar pattern. So there's that. Uh, let's go ahead and what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to switch this microphone onto this stand that I have here. I actually got this stand recently. I am uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of starting a new channel for something that I personally find interest in. So I'm going to put this microphone on here as I have a USB-C cable or not C, USB I have the proper USB cable for this microphone already on this stand, so I'm going to do that. And then I already have uh, have I have the stuff already set up for this microphone. I'm just going to put this one on this stand, leave this one on this little one here. I'm going to leave it on its stand that it came with, and then this one on this stand. Then I'm going to figure out how to record all three at once, which is going to be kind of tough. But we'll get to that really quick. So I actually think the cheapest, the cheapest microphone I've ever owned, like with my own money that I've bought and stuff, is this microphone right here. This is the very first microphone I ever bought for YouTube, actually. It's pretty cool. So it wasn't a bad microphone at the time whenever I bought it, but now it's a bit dated. 
and it's got some sort of fuzziness to it. It sounds kind of odd. You'll hear that in the test recordings, but for now, this this is the cheapest one that I have. This is the one that was sent to me, so I guess I can't really say I bought it, but I could have used the money for other things if I wanted to. I'm glad that they trust me with that. I almost dropped the snowball. Also, as to mention, this isn't a regular snowball. This is a snowball ice, so um, it doesn't have any of the other polar patterns on it. You can't change the pattern or the... You can't put a, the pad gains on it or anything like that. So they're basically the same thing. It's just the other one has the polar patterns on it and stuff. And in order to get the best results, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use a pop filter. I'm not gonna put the windscreen. On. I mean, I do have I have another windscreen for this microphone, but I'm not gonna not gonna use them just to get the best immediate results. So I am gonna go ahead and say that again that this microphone right here, this one does sound a bit weird and fuzzy. I already know that, so I'm taking that into account that I already know that. So this one was thirty dollars, and it came it came with this shock mount and a cord for three. Or it came with an XLR cable to three point five. That's basically all it comes with. I'm trying to set this up in a way that you can see all three microphones. This one's still kind of out of frame. There you go. You can see all three of them. You can see this one here. This one's kind of blending in for some reason. This is the one that I'm really worried, like curious about, just to hear what it sounds like. This is the snowball, the toner, fee fine. So now I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna record all three of these parts separately and then I'll overlay the audio over this audio. The audio you're hearing now is from my Google Pixel 2 and so is the video quality obviously. It's all coming from the same thing. I just have it sitting on a tripod. No external microphone is used in this audio so you're hearing it as clear as it, however clear it is. I actually don't know. I don't use this camera. This fit, like don't do this very often. As I said, I'm going to be recording three separate audio sections and overlaying them over this video and what i'm doing right now is opening up audacity and then i'm going to record one sentence in this microphone the same sentence in this i'm going to do it like this i'm going to do one sentence in this microphone one in the blue snowball and then one in this so you'll get kind of a bit of the same you'll get the same sentence just through each microphone and the reason i'm doing it like that is because this one's like mid-tier level this one's like a bit more expensive like 50 ish dollars and this one's the 20 dollar one so you'll get like mid, better, cheaper. Yeah, I guess that's how that works. So this is how the audio sounds on the Toner BM700. Uh, hopefully it's all sounding better than it used to. I mean, I don't know. I haven't used this microphone in quite a while. So this is how this sounds. This is how the audio sounds in the Blue Snowball without any filters or pop filter or anything like that. So hopefully this sounds crisp and clear. It should, usually does. We'll see how that sounds. And now we are here on the new microphone, the Fifine 668. Uh, this is my first test with it. I've not even heard it yet. I haven't even heard what it sounds like. Um, hopefully it's sounding good. You guys are seeing this all in live time and stuff. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this down below. All right, so that's it for the testing. I have all three microphones recorded now. You guys have just heard the overlays of them. I actually haven't heard what this microphone sounds like yet or what this microphone sounds like or what this microphone sounds like. I just recorded all three of them in three separate tracks. And yeah, so... If it sounds however it sounds, I'm, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to have to, I'm actually, I'm going to play them back. I'm going to play back this microphone, the new one, with my, uh, I'm going to listen to it in my Audio-Technica M30Xs just to hear the quality of this. And I'll give you guys my live reaction to it. <sighs> Whoa. Holy crap. Okay, if you were looking, if, if you're looking into getting a new microphone or looking into starting YouTube, I would 100% recommend this. I'll leave a link down below, as long as I remember to. I'll leave a link down below to each, to, I'll try and do all three of these microphones if I can remember to. But if not, this one's definitely going down there. Uh, shout out to the company for sending this out to me because I'm definitely going to use this for whatever I need it now that I have a really good sounding second microphone because this one I don't believe sounded that good I'm gonna go back and look there's a hiss whoa this wait a sec wait a sec wait a sec oh my gosh okay 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 all right, so I've just done. I've just listened to each three microphone back to back to back, like logic. Back to back to back to back to back to back. But I've listened to 
all three microphones consecutively. And this one, this one has a hiss. I knew, I know this one has a hiss because it's XLR. Might not be enough power for it. I'm not sure. It just doesn't doesn't sound too right. Maybe the capsule's small or something on it. This one obviously sounds like a regular blue snowball. I believe this one adds a bit more bass to the voice. And I was kind of close to it. You guys saw I was kind of I was trying to stay the same distance away from each microphone as I did, but I was pretty close to it. This one adds kind of more bass to it. But this one, this microphone right here, this new one, this is very very good. Like, if you if you want to get into YouTube or something and you want great studio quality sound. Like I would, bring, I would even use this for like maybe singing. I don't know. I, I don't sing. I rap, but I would definitely recommend this because it's on par with this fifty dollar like big boy of YouTube. This one, this microphone. You guys have probably seen it millions of times across YouTube through gamers, through even some singers. I saw a guy make a full song on one of these mics. But this one here being twenty dollars and being fully USB compatible, no extra XLR stuff like this one and. No, no special software required you plug it in and go with whatever recording software you want I would I might even start using this this thing is <laughs> wow I'm I'm genuinely impressed be fine thank you very much for sending this microphone to me for review hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did, don't forget to drop like subscribe and definitely go check out these microphones down below and I'll see you guys in the next one peace